Hello everyone. Did anyone have the opportunity to try out any of the practices? What did you notice? It's great to hear that you've been exploring this. Well done for giving it a go. Let's start the day with a mindful drawing practice. I'd like you to take three mindful breaths. Let's do it together. Remember, mindfulness is about keeping your attention focused in the present moment. So we're going to pay attention to our breath coming in through our nose, filling up our lungs, and the way our body feels as it leaves. Let's do it together. Close your eyes. And now just take a moment to think of one thing that you were grateful for. Maybe you went somewhere special, spent time with a friend, <laughs> ate your favourite meal or played your favourite game. Or maybe you're grateful to have a warm, cosy bed for the clothes on your back or grateful for your body and all that it allows you to do. I'd like you to draw one thing that you are grateful for. This can be a fun scribble or a detailed drawing. We can all enjoy mindful drawing. We don't need to be good at art. Mindfully holding your pen or pencil in your hand, see if you can keep your focus to your one special memory or thing that you're drawing. Your mind is sure to wonder, as that's just what minds do. But as soon as you notice that your attention has moved away from this practice, just notice. Give yourself a little smile and kindly, gently, bring your attention back to your page. Don't worry if this seems difficult. We are just noticing and bringing it back. Noticing the thought and bringing your attention back to your page. Let's give it a go and see what happens. So, how was that? How long were you able to focus on your drawing before a thought popped up? When you noticed the thought, were you able to bring your attention back to your drawing? Well done for trying everyone! Some days you will find that your mind is very busy and you have lots of thoughts racing around. Some days you will be calmer and your mind might feel still. Why might our minds be busy? And why might our minds feel still? There isn't a right or a wrong way to be, but it is very useful to be able to notice in ourselves how we are feeling and why. Our life circumstances can play a big part. Sometimes life is chaotic and sometimes it's calm. That's just how life is. Our mindfulness practice can help us to deal with the ups and the downs that life throws at us. If you think about it, training the mind is a little bit like training a puppy. Let's watch a video and see if any of you can notice any similarities. puppy's doing? I'd like you to discuss this in pairs. Teacher, over to you. How can we compare training the mind to training a puppy? Can you see any similarities? When you tell a puppy to sit, does it stay first time? Does the puppy listen? Does it do what you want it to do? <laughs> the puppy just gets up and he runs away again and again. Minds are pretty similar. They don't like to sit still either. But if we train them, it takes time, but we get more control. Let's think, what else do puppies do? I had a puppy called Jack and he would bring me old shoes, chewed up tennis balls and wet old socks. 
I certainly didn't ask for any of those. And that's pretty similar to the mind too. It often brings back things that we don't ask to think about. You ask it to pay attention to one thing and it doesn't stay still. It goes on thinking and thinking about something completely different. Or maybe it brings back memories that you didn't want to think about. What else do puppies do? They make a mess. <laughs> We might find that we get ourselves into a bit of a mess if we scold ourselves for our minds wandering. So what is the best way to train a puppy? What attitude do you think we need to take? Well, we certainly need to be firm and it takes a lot of patience. Does anybody know what patience is? Patience is the quality of waiting calmly, without complaining. An example of patience is waiting nicely for your snack. We would need to be kind and we would need to repeat again and again and again. So firm, patient, kind, repeat. Firm, patient, kind, repeat. Firm, patient, kind, repeat. When we notice that our minds have wandered off, we need to patiently bring our attention back simply noticing that the mind has wandered and bringing it back. We need to be gentle and kind to ourselves, just like we would be gentle to a puppy. It doesn't help to treat our minds harshly. Gently, kindly, smile at your mind and the thoughts that you're having and be patient. Just bring your attention back to your drawing. Bring it back. That's what this mindfulness training is all about, the present moment. If you told a puppy to sit and it ran off, would you kick it across the room? No. So if your mind doesn't do exactly what it's told, don't be harsh. Just be kind to yourself and accept that that's what wandering minds do. There's no need to worry. Be gentle with yourself. No need to beat yourself up. When learning any new skill, we have to accept that it might be challenging to start with. But with practice, it can become a little easier. Great listening, everyone. A huge well done. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> One Mind, creating happier, healthier classrooms.